Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the Grid Watchers podcast with me, Chipmaster22, and I'm joined, as always, by Causa LFC96, otherwise known as Alex to us. Uh, how are you doing tonight? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not doing bad. It seems that we seem to keep ending up just me and you. Ken... Ken yeah. has his moments where he's busy, and Rickson is almost like a special guest these days. To be fair, I would go with. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. He seems. I was surprised he didn't turn up this evening because Hamilton did win this uh, race. Spoilers if anyone hasn't watched the race yet. If you if, haven't, if watched, you haven't it, watched the race, then you... you're not tuning into this. Let's be honest. Do, do you live under a rock or yeah. something? If you haven't <laughs> seen this race yet, Sky Sports News. But, <laughs> but what a fantastic race um maybe because of the crashes i'm going to be a very plastic f1 fan by saying it was good because of the crashes but if you think about it alex the best two races of the year have been baku and singapore where there've been big crashes on a street circuit yeah but i mean to be fair baku was one race and this was just it it was a similarly entertaining race but for a completely different reason like I was I was sort of watching the start and it was on and I was going, oh, yeah, it'd be a normal start. It's wet. People are on different conditions. be fine. And then I just suddenly see Vettel just absolutely destroy Verstappen and Raikkonen. And, mm. I, just, and I just like my eyes didn't blink. I was like, what? <laughs> like, yeah. it's, it was so out of the blue. And it was I just couldn't believe yeah. what I'd just seen. Yeah, it was just out of nowhere. Just Vettel sort of came across. um both Max and Raikkonen, and then they just collected. And he was like, Raikkonen was a, a passenger in his car because he had no control of the car yeah. and hit Verstappen for the second time. And he, did you hear his, his, Verstappen's audio? Because he didn't... Yeah, he, he, he was he was going, oh, he got damaged. Yeah. And then you just suddenly see him get hit again. And he's just like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, that's a win taken yeah. out of you, isn't it? Yeah, and then Alonso gets tagged and goes... Sort of How did Alonso drive for as long as he did? Let's just take oh, a moment. No. Like, do, Did you yeah. see the shot on the side of his car? Yeah, I'll put it on screen, and it, it's mad that the, the amount of damage he had and still could go for so long before the car started to, to die on him was incredible. Yeah, like the, the, the whole side of his car was missing, and then he was going, oh, what's going on with the car? And the team said, I got no, you know, we got no data, and it was like, no, you know, <laughs> of course you don't. Yeah. The whole computer's yeah. fallen out. Yeah, it was like a, a whole a shark had bitten into the side it's of that ridiculous. car. It was a massive chunk was uh, missing. But before we, we digest into the race, I wanted to quickly talk about the whole fiasco with engines and drivers going around and we now found out that McLaren will be powered by Renault next year which is an interesting move and I think the relationship between Honda and McLaren has just broken down for the last three years with awful power units and I'm sure as a McLaren fan yourself Alex you, you've been through the worst bit of McLaren for a long long time uh, in their F1 sort of career. Yes, it's been probably the worst period in McLaren's career. It could quite easily be said, I would think. Yeah. I mean, they're happy if they get in the points, and that is no way good enough. Like, no. by no means. It's It's been difficult, um, and I think Alonso maybe hasn't helped. I think he sort of forced McLaren's hand. He's been playing the long game of forcing McLaren's hand, making him change, mm-hmm. and he's going to end up with a decent car next year. Although the Renault engine isn't great, which has been shown by Red Bull, that the Renault engine is sort of letting him down. It's mm. nowhere near as bad as the Honda, let's be honest. Uh, yeah, the the only issue is for me is that I've actually started spending money on McLaren Honda merchandise. So, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> like, only in the past, Ooh, like, six yeah. months, I got a hat, I got a T-shirt, I got um, a... Ah, oh, I can't think of the name. Lanyard, that's it. And oh, um, it's... Although, to be fair, it wasn't worth anything when I bought it. It's now worth even less. Yeah, I was so, going to say, if it was re- really, really uh, successful period in McLaren's history, you could uh, sell it off for yeah, a lot of money in a couple of years, but exactly. I don't think you're going to get any money uh, for it unless you find some, some weirdo on the internet that loves failures of that loves uh, failures, yeah. teams. Rickson. Yeah, I can't uh, do that. <laughs> Rickson loves failures. Didn't you buy a uh, Toro Rosso Reno hat, though? Um, I'm wearing it right now. You are um, wearing it right it actually, now. What does it actually say on it? Um, no, it just says... Uh, Scuderia Toro Rosso. Oh, so well, uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, um, next season it's going to say Toro Rosso Honda. So that's, that just sounds horrible. Toro that Rosso does Honda. sound an awful name. But then McLaren Renault doesn't sound any better. No, I'll be. I'm with you on that. It doesn't sound any better at all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess it's and like to be fair, McLaren Honda didn't sound bad at all because it's been done. Yeah, I guess you get used to it, don't you? Maybe so. maybe we'll get used to it in a few years if they stick as a partnership. I mean, if it's uh, good, I'll call them anything. Too fair. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and as well, um, you've had, and with the Renault and McLaren teaming up now, you've got Toro Rosso 
and Honda teaming up, which <laughs> is an interesting move. Toro Rosso um, have been forced to do something they really didn't want to do. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, because Red have um, gone. Oh yeah, we're supplying McLaren next season, didn't you know? And Toro Rosso going. Okay, what does that mean for us? Well, we only have enough. <laughs> And you have enough <laughs> yeah. people to power so many, like, you know, to do so many engines. So that means, uh, yeah. I'm afraid, uh, that they've got, oh, well, Honda I right hear <laughs> are going, <Yeah. laughs> going short. <laughs> How do they yeah. sound? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tor Rosso have been, have been forced to do something they'd rather not. But if, if Honda now end up with a decent engine, I'm pretty imagine, sure, imagine. I'm pretty sure Zach Brown is going to jump himself off a very high bridge. <laughs> Yeah, I, I agree with you there. Imagine Honda just pull out the bag and just create an amazing engine, but we'll have to wait and see. But it's it's an interesting move. I think Honda have got a contract in F1, so they have to stay there. They can't just pull out, I don't think. So they have to go somewhere. Mm. And uh, there's tensions between Red Bull and Renault with the criticism, criticism that uh, Christian Horner and Helmut Mark have made of the Renault engines the last couple yeah. of last two seasons. I think they've kicked off a lot. Yeah, um, well, the third Barra they have now renamed it Tag Heuer, haven't they? Despite yeah, the fact exactly. that it's Renault, so I, I yeah, yeah, it's not good, is it? And then that relates to the new. They're now well, it's pretty much confirmed. It's Aston Martin who will then supply them with the new engines. That, that's not one hundred percent, but it's very likely. It's that Christian Horner's Martin. basically said that it doesn't take a doesn't take a genius to work out who they've got to, who they've got to deal with. To yeah, fair, exactly. so I think that yeah. one's pretty much sealed, but. Red Bull, for no yeah. reason, have loaned out Carlos Sainz. I don't know. To Renault. I don't know why, but I, to be fair, it's a decent move for Carlos Sainz. Keeps him in the sport. Which it doesn't yeah. for Julian Palmer. Yeah, he found out on the internet, didn't he? Found, found out Carlos reading Sainz... autosport, from what I heard. Oh, was it? Yeah, he was reading autosport. <laughs> oh, when he no. Found out, I do feel went, oh, sorry well, for him. Well, my contract was watertight the last I read. And then, yeah. Yeah, but he's now rumoured to Williams. That's which which benefits no one. It acts. It, how old is Julian Palmer? Twenty-seven. See, that works with the Martini sponsorship. Yeah, but like, I could think of a number of drivers that they can get that's better. <laughs> what about yeah, Paul Deresta? He, uh, he's been out of the sport for too long. I would argue I he's still better than there. Julian Palmer. Uh, yeah, yeah, that no, is a good point. If, if, yeah, with practice, he could be better. Um, but Robert Kubica is also rumored, and Rosberg. Why did not they say Robert Kubica? Agent. I don't, you, don't know what that said. was. But yeah, because Robert yeah. Kubitz has sort of slightly lost his drive because there's no way they get rid of Hulkenberg. And no. the way that Robert Kubitz yeah. was getting in was by them getting rid of Julian Paul, which could be fairly easy because his results have been poor. Then Sainz has come in now. So and then Sainz has come in. So, so Kubitz is going, so he's trying to help me get back in the sport, but where am I going to get back into it to? So Williams yeah. might have to be the way forwards. Either that or Salva, but... Would you really want to be I in the Sauber right now? Nah, he won't go. Well, then again, Sauber will have Ferrari en- brand new Ferrari engines next year. Will they? So is that yeah, part of their deal? Is it? The, yeah, they've got the same engine as the Ferrari would have next year, so it's pretty good for them. Okay, now that's a decent deal from them. They'll end up with some decent power, I guess. And they're investing a lot more money into their uh, aerodynamic, aerodynamic systems uh, in, in so that when they're building the car. So mm. I think Sauber might be a force to be reckoned with in the midfield pack next season. It could be. Could could we'll bring them up to the see. field again. The fact that McLaren are going to be better and Sauber are going to be better might close up that midfield to end up with like most of the grid being in the midfield. But I guess... Yeah. We'll have to wait I think see. we're all waiting for what the field will look like when all the engine changes come in, to be fair. I think that's what we're yeah. waiting for. Because you remember like yeah. 2000 and sort of anything from about 2005 to about 2000 and like 10, 11... When quite literally anyone could end up on the grid, on the front yeah. row and stuff, it was well, it's sort of glory days. But... With with uh, five, six different winners in the first six races, that was 2012. Admittedly, that was with the big aero package, wasn't it? In 2012. Yes, 2012 was so mainly aero. As well. That's why Red Bull yeah. won, wasn't it? Because they had sexy yeah, aero. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, on to the actual race. What would you give it out of ten, Corsa? Well, for the length that it lasted, it was 10 because it lasted more than two hours. So you got the most out of what you were watching. But in terms of the yeah. race, I'd, I'd give it a seven and a half. Okay. Yeah, that's a, yeah. Yeah, I think I'd agree with seven and a half, seven. It was, uh, it, just the start was just super exciting with all the crashing. I know that's not the best thing to say, but with the start crash with, with Vettel 
uh, Verstappen and 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 Raikkonen. Who are you? Are you blaming an individual driver? Or oh, I mean, you... it's a hundred percent Verstappen's fault. I mean, if you if you if you are a huge fan of Ferrari, you're obviously going to believe it's Verstappen's fault <laughs> because he drove in a straight line and did absolutely nothing wrong. So it must be his fault. Nah, it's got to be Sebastian Vettel. He yeah, has yeah. absolutely destroyed <laughs> two cars by yeah. just going across the track. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. I mean, I don't. Firstly, it's dangerous. Secondly, mm. he's now. I'm not. He's now lost the title. For me, that is yeah. a title. That's a title loser. Well, he was 25. Well, he was three points behind, wasn't he? Now that's an extra 25 points. So that's 28 points behind the behind Hamilton now, yeah. I think. And, and when you're yeah, pretty he's... closely matched and trading wins and poles and whatever, and the Mercedes yeah. looks pretty good anyway. That's a huge yeah. margin to make up. So yeah, and... he's he's made a huge, huge error there. And he, did you see him like for the whole way back into the um Ferrari um like uh trailer Gosh. helmet on, didn't want to talk to anyone. Mm. Yeah. Which you can see why, because I think he realised at that point, like, you know, he's coming in, he's seeing Hamilton's in the lead from starting fifth and he's out of this mm. race, he knows that he's done goofed. Yeah, and as well, I think if you look at the next couple of tracks, you've got uh, was it Malaysia, Japan, um, USA. They're all circuits that sort of favour the Mercedes um, more than the Ferrari. Well, they, so... well, they don't disfavour the Mercedes, which is the main thing, isn't it? They aren't like Singapore, yeah. where Ferrari and Red Bull are both blatantly quicker. I yeah. mean, Mercedes has a good yeah. chance of winning, which is all they need. Yeah, I think I think that is Vettel's title fight over and done with. Unless Hamilton has some uh, sort of engine failure or anything like that, I think Malaysia he might last have season. Fourth... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is true. Yeah, but I, I think it might be Hamilton. It's Hamilton's title to lose now. Yeah, I think I, th- um... I, th- I think we are now going to see a fourth time Hamilton wins, which will destroy Vettel because Vettel mm-hmm. was the only current crop that could say, "Well, I've got the most drivers' championships." Yeah, exactly, and he'll Those, break. That's he'll get go. the that would be the new record for the most British, uh, uh, most titles for a Brit. Taking Jackie Stewart got three. Um, oh so yeah, of course, yeah. Over. And he'll put uh, himself right Park up there, won't he? Three. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's one of the greats already, I think. Personally, I, just, I believe so. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, real pace, unreal. The best, but one of. I still personally believe Senna is the best. Senna and Schumacher, I'd say, and, yeah. and Fangio. Maybe. I mean, I don't. I couldn't tell you much about Fangio because, in case you, do, in, case, in case anyone didn't realise this in the podcast, <laughs> I, w- I wasn't alive when Fangio was racing. I'm afraid to say, fifties yeah, and sixties. I'm not even sure my parents were alive when Fangio was racing. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, so we had the big incident at the start, which took out Alonso as well, which unfortunately, which we've mentioned. I was crying. Too. Could I just say I was in tears? Alonso could be in the third <laughs> place, and he's been absolutely destroyed. Yeah, that track did sort of suit the McLaren because it wasn't, they didn't need speed. Um, well, there wasn't any straights, right? It went a little bit straight, but there's, it, it, it was ba- it was a perfect track for mm. McLaren. Like Monaco, um, it was perfect. But uh, yeah, the, the, he got tagged um, by Vettel, I think. It, oh no, it was Verstappen. It, no, it yeah, by. it was Raikkonen going to Verstappen oh, and then Verstappen obviously going into um, Alonso. Yeah. Um, which is what spoiled his race then, unfortunately. And then, uh, then you were uh, lots of safety cars then. And it's a 100% record for safety cars. I know. In, we had three this year, didn't we? Was it three? Yeah, yeah three. Yeah, yeah three. Yeah, it's yeah. Unreal, isn't it? um, so then you had, uh, and then everyone was on. It's surprising how long the track took to dry with how hot it is in Singapore. Yeah. I think everyone time. was surprised. I don't know why yeah. it took so long to dry out because it stopped raining and you think, oh, the humidity is going to absolutely, like, in mm. two laps. The, the intermediates are going to look like toast. Yeah, and it just kept staying wet. The people on the wet runner on the wet tires were still pacey. Intermediates yeah. were still pacey, and then mm-hmm. suddenly you just got onto the um, ultra softs out of nowhere, and it was like, what? Like nothing yeah. looked like it changed. Then suddenly we had like um, uh, Magnussen coming in on the ultra softs. So. It, yeah, yeah I couldn't understand lapped, that. One lap too early for Magnussen. I think he would have been up there if he hadn't uh, Maybe. had to pit. Yeah, and then he, of course he had a problem at the end anyway, so he had to retire. Uh, yeah. He, oh, no, uh, no, it was Hulkenberg. Sorry, am I, am I... Was it? Sorry, was yeah, it, it was Hulkenberg. Yeah, yeah. 
I know Hulkenberg. I've got over Hulkenberg because he was. Can we, yeah, too, can we just have a moment for Hulkenberg was on the podium oh, for most of that race. Yeah, I know. I, I know. was. I was. In he his... had that. Yeah. Was it an air intake issue on his Renault? Well, they had to refill up the hydraulics, didn't they? In his pit stop, which was? dropped him down to about seventh, and then yeah. obviously just retired from an issue that was occurring from that. Yeah. From from yeah. whatever meant that was happening, but I, I don't know obviously how it happened because I didn't see him have any issues or whatever. But it was it was quite disappointing because in that redder there seemed to be a little bit of pace in there. Yeah, well, you saw Jordy and Palmer got sixth place, which is uh, yeah, he did maybe a little bit uh, lucky in sixth. Yeah, but I think it's, it's, it's uh, a little. Um, it's, I think it's too late for him. Right, it is too late. It is too late for him. But yeah, <laughs> he hasn't got a drive. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly. I think you might. You'll drop down to something else now. I don't think you'll stay in Formula One. Formula um, Two, no. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. It'd be in endurance cars. I saw Le Mans. Probably. Like that, yeah, it may yeah. be endurance. I think it's what's best suited for him. I don't think. I don't think Palm was ever suited for F1 personally because I don't. I don't know why Renault signed him up because although it was like. Um, Money G- a, GP3, a GP2, etc. It was, it was getting yeah. on a bit. There were some drivers that were younger that were just as quick. Well, that's that whole debate to put in experienced drivers over younger drivers. We've had that in the previous podcast, haven't we? That this is true. They're not given a chance, younger drivers, because of the lack of experience. So, well, I, yeah, he wasn't the fastest. And I think they bad luck. And I think he was there because of money as well. His dad bankrolled a lot of his... Um, career uh to date so yeah yes. not, yeah i guess you gotta have some genuine pace because he did win gp2 and gp3 but at the yeah, same time yeah, yeah. if you've got a lot of money behind you and you're waving mm. it in front of renault's face going look what you could buy with this it makes it yeah, very exactly. easy to then go yeah well after for a season how does he do he scores one point <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> which yeah. i find amazing but yeah yeah um we had uh Daniel Kvyat, uh just showing what he's he's made of and torpedoing into the uh, into the barrier, like like the name suggests, he's been given the torpedo. So um, I don't, like I said, I don't know how he's still in the sport. It's just it's... is he for next? Is he got a contract for next season as well? He has uh, it. Who we actually don't, no one knows. He could he could potentially have one, which is quite scary. I think it's rubbish if he does, but I mean, well, I don't know. Actually, think about it because Gasly is very close to getting that Toro seat now because. Um, Science is gone. Science is gone. So, but he could stay. And I don't know who who would, who else you put in Toro Rosso. And I, I don't know the the young driver system they've got. Who else is around? Um, but I know Gasly is is. I hopefully he gets. It. Hopefully, we'll I'm really it. hoping Gasly gets that because he looks quick. Can you imagine yeah. Gasly and Robert Kubica in Toro Rosso next season? Whether Kubica no, no, was a little bit of a deal with with Science, that could be amazing. If that's the case, that would be like yeah. I'd I'd like to think that, but I don't think because he's no, it they won't happen. only employ young drivers, so yeah. I don't think that'll happen. Unfortunately, Toro Rosso uh, is like Barcelona's B team, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Barcelona B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, we had the whole. Um, um, what I what I was impressed by was Lance Roll and Soft Van Dorn uh, around the track today. Uh, sorry, not today. Uh, where we two days ago when this comes out, but they did fantastic for, for rookies never driving around Singapore before. And to come in the top 10 was, was a fantastic result for them. Well, I guess that's what you can, that's it's the only thing you can ask for really, isn't it? Is stay, yeah. is stay on the track. Don't damage <laughs> your car and just see where you end up. And obviously they both had the pace to, to get inside the top 10, which you fair. You can't, you know, fair enough for them. You can't argue with, with what they did. Cause I can, I can imagine that's exactly what the team asked them to do. Yeah, well, seventh for Stroll, uh, seventh for Van Dorn, and eighth for Stroll, which is a good haul of points for McLaren and and Williams. So that's. Uh, I was very happy with Van Dorn because he looked pacey. He he, ne- he nearly ever took Bottas as well, and I was nearly like, I was <laughs> yeah, I was going, come on, lads, this could be, <laughs> this could be amazing. But um, mm. yeah, I I was very, very happy to see how close Van Dorn got, and I was very happy to see him cross the line. Mm, yeah, um, managed to finish, so that was uh, that was good. Did break down. Did McLaren. break down. And to be fair, <laughs> well, if if you'd have had Alonso still in that race and then Van Dorn, I think McLaren could have ended up with a nice big haul of points. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So it's sort yeah. of a shame, but I guess it's good for McLaren that on on tracks where power isn't the biggest thing, they're showing that they have the pace in the aerodynamics and chassis. 
Yeah, unfortunately, though, there's no more of those sort of tracks left. No. no. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to put you outside the top ten again for McLaren, unfortunately, uh, for the next couple of races. <laughs> yeah, for the end of the yeah. season. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just, yeah, just make it simple, end of the season. Yeah, one um, thing I did, Magnussen overtaking Massa on the second DRS straight. How close there was wheel contact going the kink. Oh yeah, in the little oh. kink, wasn't it? And oh. then I th- the how they didn't touch the wall. Because I'm I pretty sure the there was like a hair's width between the wall and that tire. Oh yeah, definitely. Like yeah, I was yeah, watching yeah. it, I was on the end of my seat watching that go, and this is going to end in a huge crash. Mm. Like surely, and it didn't, and it was beautiful. That that mm. that is what you want to see every week, though. Is yeah. that sort of close racing? Is people going, well, I'm not giving you any room, and they don't want to go, well, neither am I. <laughs> That's yeah, what exactly. I want to see. So, uh, yeah, it was that was that was a beautiful... Be- that was, yeah, because were they fighting over 11th or something? Yeah, something like that. And it yeah, was, like, it was amazing. Yeah, they were fighting over 11th. And they're like, I don't... You know, the, the people broadcasting were like, oh, I don't care about um, <laughs> what's going on at the front. This is what's <laughs> yeah, going on here. Yeah. It was, it was a, yeah, it was a beautiful move and really well executed as well. So I was... I definitely happy watching that it was amazing yeah and then uh, Ericsson had to ruin everything and cut the Grand Prix short by uh, crashing in on the bridge um, losing uh, the back end do you hear uh, Hamilton you... on that that was amazing Go, why do we need a safety car oh I know I and it's like oh, you've really? got a car somewhere parked somewhere where you can barely fit two exactly was, it's like, and then, oh yeah and then just, just the... VSC it and it's like yeah. you can't you yeah. can't have cars going past and have marshals in the road and a huge ass crane Ah, exactly. I mean, do I need to go back to China 2015 to realise why that's not a good idea? Safety car of that up. Singapore's a huge track. Beautiful. Sorted. Japan. Japan. That's what I said, wasn't it? No, you said China. Oh, I I meant Japan. (laughs) I even said Japan in my head. My mouth is not connected, unfortunately, but yeah. Um, Yeah. But yeah, Yeah, Hamilton was like, I've got a nine second gap here and you've just done that to about five tenths. Mm. And he was he yeah. was raging. Meanwhile, like Van Dorn and Hulkenberg had just had that issue, were rubbing their hands, going, "Let me have them." Yeah, um, exactly. I think um, one person to note those Bottas who came out of nowhere, got a podium, and she felt was gifted the podium. I really don't think he deserves that. It would be slow all weekend, Bottas. He's been, he's been sixth fastest all weekend. Yeah, and then was behind Palmer for quite a lot of it, and Hulkenberg, and someone else as well and uh, then ended up with a podium Ricardo was the other person I was thinking of then ended up with a podium yeah yeah know. just right place right time I guess so, so... Well, I guess he didn't crash no, I think, yeah, I think it's exactly. the reason why he did that was because he didn't crash yeah exactly exactly um, one thing I did make me laugh at the end of the race when Carlos Sainz came over the line his uh, his uh, uh, engineer uh, when uh, what did he say um I can't remember oh, what you said. Yeah, yeah that was and then it. he went boom, shakalaka. So, yeah, it was. You could hear the engineer jokes. just laughing. Going, I got, I got yeah. no idea what to reply to this. Just was not expecting it. I was listening yeah, to that going. Sites was so happy with his fourth place. But that's what you want to see, yeah. isn't it? Is yeah, exactly. Good results exactly. are rewarded, aren't they? So, and Sites yeah. was absolutely. I bet in that helmet, it was grinning from ear to ear. It was, he was having an absolute moment in that car. It was amazing. Yeah, it was it was a great great result for him. Uh, coming yeah, forth. it was a great result. So it was a good drive. Also. It was a good drive. Yeah, it was. Yeah, brilliant drive. Um, just kept it clean, I guess, at the whole race. Mm. Um, yeah, only twelve people finished that race. Um, Pascal Verlaine was last. Um, Pascal Verlaine two laps down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Two laps down, uh, and yet you could overtake under the safety. I don't know. I I don't mm, know. They. I yeah. think the FIA just went. Well, there's one car that's lapped. And he ain't doing yeah. much, so why would we? <laughs> why would we let him go? We could just get the yeah, race going. I, yeah, I think so. Um, one one thing that did make me like laugh was uh, Hamilton on Saturday announced he's going vegan. Did he? And, I, I uh, must have missed this. I didn't see that. Yeah. So Hamilton said uh, about global warming and he's going to go vegan, which I totally agree with because a lot of. Uh, animal pollution uh, contributes to greenhouse gases, which he's totally right. It's all fact. But Hamilton travels around 
in a V12 powered Mercedes and he has his private jet and he's chauffeured everywhere. So he's contributing massively. To, he has a massive yeah, I, I, I don't see his like Toyota Prius or BMW yeah, i8 exactly. or whatever yeah. or his Tesla driving around. No, I see this. I see him advertising this basically 2015 F1 road car. Yeah, that I can yeah. imagine is really... I mean, I know it's a hybrid, but it's not a hybrid that is saving the planet. Um, yep. I see him in this big-ass private jet flying to, like, Uzbekistan or, like, Malta or just Cuba, just, just yeah. anywhere he throws a dart on a map at mm, um, exactly. in his in his big jet. I, I mean, I, one thing I get... One thing I don't get is, okay, so you're going vegan and animal pollution and stuff, but if you're not eating the animals, then they're staying alive, giving more animal pollution. But anyway, that's just... That's just my thought on vegetarian on veganism. As, as a whole other argument, we could have another podcast. It's a whole other argument I, I, about non yeah, I, yeah. I, I think if <laughs> Hamilton wants to save the planet, I don't think he's in the right profession and advertising the right things. Speaking of Lewis yeah. Hamilton, what on earth was his Snapchat and Instagram story? It was uh, it was him with an ET glass. shaped head going mood after every session. But it was the same yeah, face. I saw that on Twitter, yeah. I don't know what he's he, he I do question his uh what he does at times on on, yeah. on social media. Got no idea. I, th- I think I think the hair did it for me. Do you remember we had the blonde? Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Like Rio Ferdinand looking hair. Yeah. And like everyone was going, this could not be unseen. And I I I mean Hamilton could be deemed a legend, but I mean I will only see him with blonde braided hair. Oh, as well. Did you see um, Hamilton? I um, he said something like. Senna was talking to me or something. Oh, what did he say? I, I, I must have missed it. all of this crap. Uh, yeah, it was, what did he... I even find it. Did you find the quote? Uh, uh, I could have easily binned it, he said. Every now and then, Senna pops into my mind. Uh, it's almost like he talks to me. Just stay focused. Keep it together. And I read that went... Sorry. Sorry. Is Senna talking in your head? Sorry. Really? Yeah. Uh, I, th- I think uh, you need okay. to see a psychiatrist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think he's, uh, he got um, he got a bit, uh, his head a bit, a bit, bit funny from all the heat in Singapore, maybe. But Maybe, yeah. Well, I, d- I guess yeah. whatever gets you through, won the race, whatever gets him through. Yeah, but um, it was a good win from Hamilton uh, in the Mercedes. It, was, it was, wasn't meant to win round there, and uh, he did, so... Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah, whatever, whatever keeps you going. Yeah, um, I think on to Malaysia in two weeks' time. Uh, I think Mercedes is going to dominate it again. Um, Probably, it's two yeah. massive straights there. Mind you, it's Ferrari a did a couple wins. of seasons win that race on pace faster than Mercedes. Ricardo won it last year, to be fair. So yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. To be fair, I think we'll your see. point's sort of a little bit out of the water, but I, I, yeah, I, I, I yeah, wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't not back Mercedes. Yeah. To be fair, they've got so much momentum now, especially after the Ferraris. Absolutely, I think they've done a Briggsy bottle. I think <laughs> they've yeah, done an absolute yeah. Briggsy bottle there. Yeah, I think so. Because uh, that's also gonna... gifted um, Mercedes are constructors as well, basically. So, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, 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 definitely. So, who, who are you going to predict? For top three, on, uh, uh, Paul three. Paul Lewis, and then I'm gonna go probably Lewis Vettel Raikkonen. Okay, I'm gonna go exactly the same, but I'm gonna change Raikkonen to Bottas for third place. Yeah, see, I was gonna I, if I was gonna change anything, I would change Raikkonen to Ricardo. I think Red was going to be quick round there. But obviously I'm going to go what I started with. But very open. The, Red Bull have closed up recently. Well, not recently, to be fair. They keep scoring podiums. Ricardo's always yeah. on that podium. So that's why he stopped in Shoei, isn't it? Because he's saying yeah, it's, it's, it's no longer many. a trademark. He's getting a bit repetitive because he keeps yeah, like, getting on the podium. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Exactly. Uh, if I win an AOR, AOR race next season, I'll do a Shoei. I'm just, yeah, you heard it here first. I, I, will I will provide probably, the I will shoe. I will it. drive to Portsmouth and provide the shoe. Oh, I'm not drinking out your bloody shoe. That's minging. <laughs> I, 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 I only give you my work shoes so that I keep working oh, in. <laughs> perfect. That's just what I want, Alex. Do sweaty-ass work shoes. I'm not going to lie. Ricardo does it out of some sweaty-ass work shoes, let's be honest. 
Oh yeah, I wouldn't want to. Yeah, just, yeah I'm yeah, definitely not drinking out of that. But <laughs> uh, yeah, if if you get a, to be fair, if you get a podium in AOR, I'm waiting for hell to freeze over. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, uh, yeah that will not happen. I'm gonna say it now. It will, will not, not happen will unless not happen. It's, no, unless I'm in like a like tier seven or something. Which I hope I'm not that bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, does no, the session race bottom of tier yeah. seven? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I haven't done my evaluation race yet. So yeah, no, that'd, be, that'd be interesting. I, I would. Yeah. I was going to join assist, and then realised that I work until late on a Sunday. So that sort of, um, uh, yeah, sort of, sort of destroys that one for the moment. But so the esports, I don't know much about it, Alex, because I haven't watched much. I mean, you inform? No, I, I know, I know. E, uh, ESR Lee won it, or Bam Lee, or whatever he calls himself. Bam Lee, which the... which was before like um, Dizzy Cupid. Yeah, and then and ESR then Cupid. Um, but yeah, you go with it because I I don't know much about it. Do you know? Well, to be fair, it's been it's been really interesting because the hype um, from the um, events that they do on F1 2017, the little events thing where you you know you've got whatever to hit, um, and yeah, there have been a lot of people that have been absolutely sweating that. Mm, like yeah. Tierra Limitless has done it like six times and got top, and then you've had um, Team at Marda try it a few times and. I mean, it's a, it's a different way of getting people involved, but it's really interesting because you can see who's top, what times, etc., and things like that. But um, the esports race that's being hosted by AOR, I mean, shout out to Fizzy for getting that gig. Like, let's be fair, that yeah, is that is yeah, absolutely yeah. unbelievable. Um, and the races have been amazing so far because, I mean, let's be honest, you've got the top twenty drivers of each console mm. hitting it out to be an eSport it'd be in the eSport semi-finals in London like so will will they be all against each other or is it going to be one for Xbox one for PC and one for PlayStation I honestly couldn't tell you that hold on okay. I'm trying to work it out in my head okay because I'm pr- I'm pretty sure there is different ones for each console and then they get brought together at the end for the finals oh, okay. because of, yeah, you, you end up with a semi-finals and whatever. Um, so I'm pretty sure they get brought to, together, but I don't know how it would. Currently, all I know is a qualifying bit and then you qualify for the semi-finals. So that's that's sort of what I'm working off at the moment. But the Xbox race was really good. Um, okay. There were some really surprising results. And... A lot of lag I heard in that one. There was there was some. I'll get on to the PS4 one in a second, which had the biggest glitch ever. Um, right. So you had the Flying Finn and Noble fighting on track. You had um, you had Limitless that was on the podium. You had obviously Bam Lee, etc. It was pretty amazing. So that was a good race. Um, PS uh, PC I didn't actually watch because I was out, which was a little okay. bit annoying. But I heard that that was actually a really good race. Mm-hmm. And then PS4, um, who I don't know anyone that was racing in that, and apparently someone who shouldn't be winning was winning the race and then got disqualified for the tyre, um, mandatory tyre glitch, and then got right. rebranded the win. But oh <laughs> I just read the 1.7 patch notes, uh, yeah. and they fixed that glitch, unsurprisingly, on the oh. PS4. <laughs> <laughs> Not on anything else, just PS4. Mm. So I found that, mm. I've really actually laughed at that, that they that they Top did that. Yeah. Um, the so, Las Vegas e race all over again. It sounds like, yeah, yeah, um, something like that. But they got them again this week. This week is Bahrain, which should be good. Um, I would definitely check it out if you haven't, you, because I know obviously you've been, yeah, you've been busy uh, doing tomorrow stuff. Tomorrow I've but... got training, so I'll have to rewatch it afterwards. Um, yeah, definitely, because it was it yeah. was um, yeah, it was seriously good. Okay, um, I, I really enjoyed it um, watching them because yeah, because if you if you're a racing fan and you you know you watch F1 and stuff, it's it's a different form of sport, but, uh, motorsport, but it's really fun to watch. It's really yeah, good. One one thing that has annoyed me slightly because it's it's on the uh, AOR Rallycross has been delayed for two weeks because people are racing in it. So uh, oh, I didn't but, know that. Yeah, because some, yeah, some, some of the top guys in yeah, some some of the top guys in in the Rallycross are also racing in the uh, esports. I think Murphy and Nopples in the Xbox League. They're yeah, racing. yeah. So uh, yeah, and someone else I think, but I can't remember. Um, so yeah, we couldn't uh, we couldn't race, but you know, uh, I'll uh, F one takes priority, I guess. Yeah, when when but... when actual like FIA basically are telling you that yeah. you can 
be an esports champion. You ain't yeah. gonna you ain't gonna say no to that, are you? To yeah, be fair, though, there are a few people. Points. I think Noble's looking pretty good for it. Um, Limitless is looking pretty good for it in whatever one because they got the you get five you get ten people from two events, so five from each, and then you get the top three or top five from the qualifiers that come right. together. And I'm pretty sure Limitless okay. is in at least one of them. Um, Noble's in, I'm pretty sure, at least one of them. If not, then Noble's in the world's fastest gamer anyway. Yeah, I was going to say that. So, yeah. he's, Noble's, basically, AOR have created something for Noble and the Flying Finn and Limitless to go, <laughs> yeah. do you want to win this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, here's your chance. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, to be fair, the fact it came out of nowhere and suddenly F1 2017 comes out and it's like esports. It's mm. pretty. It's pretty it's amazing see. that it suddenly came out. Yeah, it's good to see. Yeah. Because it's been on but... FIFA for a little while. Like if you look on FIFA 17 this year, um, AS Roma's eSport kit is on there, and a couple of the like specific eSports teams as well. I don't know their names, but um, some FIFA eSports teams have got their kits on FIFA 17. Oh, oh yeah, I did see that. Yeah. So. Yeah, I saw. Uh... You know, FIFA's taken off. Uh, I think, actually, FIFA is on um, BT Sport now. FIFA Sports. What, live gaming is on yeah. BT Sport? Yeah. Oh, wow. I know. I haven't, I haven't seen uh... it. I just know it's on there. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Something, well, something different to watch, isn't it? Yeah, Money, I'll, isn't I'll, it, stick, I'll, stick, I'll probably stick to the football and the rugby. Yeah, instead definitely. Of, uh, the... <laughs> definitely. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of watching... I don't know. I watch. Um, saying that, I watched the Halo World Championships the other day, so that was pretty fun. Oh, did you? Um, oh, okay, fair enough. I know Rocket League. Mixed. There's Rocket League World Championships. Yeah, I quite, Rocket League's quite good actually. To yeah, watch. I like Rocket um, League. Yeah. Uh, finally, I just wanted to talk about the Noob Journey as it's coming back. Uh, it'd be plug this week. Plug me up. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, it uh, it should be back Saturday Sunday. Uh, depending when we edit it, but um, yeah, pre season on Thursday. Are you ready to race, Causa? <laughs> no, um, <laughs> I judge, judge, judging by the testing, I need to actually do some no assist practice because I yeah, haven't done any bit, really yeah. since the end of last season. Yeah. So, yeah, I got pretty showed up in testing to be fair, but um, yeah, I'm hoping. Once I actually get into it, it should be better. So some some of the new guys are looking. Actually, I don't know how some of the new guys are looking because I reckon some are hiding pace and some are exactly I'm showing looking. their pace of crashing into walls. But anyway, yeah. it's, it'd be interesting to see the pace uh, when when we race on Thursday. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, but we'll keep everyone updated on Twitter with what's going on in the. Yeah, def- in the definitely race. follow us on Twitter as well. New Journey website as well. Obviously, check that out. Yeah, get on that as well, guys. We will always be updating that with the latest videos, news, etc. Yeah, so. everything will be on on the Noob Journey Twitter or the Noob Journey website, and then on everybody's channel. So mine, Alex, Rickson, and December will have uh, Noob Journey stuff as well as highlights. Uh, each each driver, whoever's recording, will also have. Uh, Highlights of their own pods. I don't know who's recording um, specifically. Uh, I know some will, some won't, but we'll have to uh, wait and see. But I'll put them all in the description um, when the video comes out on Saturday or Sunday. Depends uh, when I can get round to doing it. Um, I don't even know if it's going on, but my channel, Rick's channel, yeah. So I have to wait and see. <laughs> uh, you, usually <laughs> both, and then you end up with more views. Isn't that how it goes now? Yeah, well, I have less subscribers, but my subscribers aren't dead like Rickson's. Uh, so, yes, uh, yes. I seem to come at the moment keep losing subscribers. F one twenty seven. F one twenty seven videos not gone well for me. That's fun. Yeah, maybe we change to a new game. <laughs> uh, yes, I might have to change to Destiny, which is currently on my desk. <laughs> might uh, yeah, go for something different, Alex. <laughs> yes, just completely change it up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah I so think, uh, yeah, that runs follow, subscribe uh, to my channel, please. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe. Yeah, subscribe both of us, uh, and I'll put. Rickson and, and December down below. They need no, it, they but... didn't turn up. They didn't deserve it. No, I'm joking. Okay, I won't so Sembra deserves it. Yeah. Rickson's busy with his uh, with his graphic, his crayon drawing. Anyway, so uh, oh, I'm Rickson. Can... I've downloaded Photoshop once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he does a good job. I, I will give it to him. Uh, no, I'll give it to him. He does a good, good job, but it, you know, at, 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 at the yeah, same I'm... time, we've all got Photoshop. <laughs> and I do. Question: I reckon I could do a pretty good job if I had time. 
But although to be fair, the amount of fast licking that Rickson does. Sorry, I just want to say this about the fast licking Rickson does. I should have used good. <laughs> I didn't hear. Sorry, that cut out. I didn't hear what you said. Oh, that's probably that's 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 probably a good job. So let's talk about arse licking. Oh, okay. That, that, that's that's not up my street, unfortunately. Maybe yours, but not mine. Well, it's um, definitely up Rickson Street. <laughs> yeah, at the moment, <laughs> yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think that rounds off for today's podcast. It's it's been informative. It's been funny. It's been uh, peaceful, kind of really. Yes, <laughs> yeah. No, uh, no comparing people to testicles. So that's that's quite. We nice. bring this up every time. We need to. Yeah. We need to try and forget it's that just that happened. To stop. Yeah, it was a really bad podcast. That was. That was um, that was awful. <laughs> was that the same podcast that I said that Papa Ken might be appropriate, or was that a different one? No, that was one before. That was one before. Maybe. I would. I well, think, no, I'd... it was one, no one after. One after. Oh yeah, it was one after. I, th- yeah. We're just a catastrophe together. To be fair, all four of us. I yeah, don't think we should ever be allowed that, together, but oh well. That's why we're 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 never together at the moment. <laughs> we're just probably probably over a good job. To be fair, but yeah, 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 exactly. yeah. Because I wasn't. I haven't actually watched last. I haven't listened to last week's podcast yet, so I actually need to catch up on that one. Yeah, yeah, get on that. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> While you're recording, I was lying on a beach in Spain, so. Of course, yeah, you were. I mean, yeah. you were. So no, it was only one. me and Semba last week, actually. You was that? It was only just me and Ken. Again, that was probably quite peaceful. Oh, Rick's well. really is a guest, isn't he? Yeah, I might it's not awful. bother including him in the uh, in the videos now. Yeah, we'll, we'll just remove him from the chat. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, that rounds it off. Uh, thank you for listening, guys. Uh, if you listened on the audio, can you let me know below? Because I want to know how many people actually download it. Because I'm not 100% how many people do or don't. Uh, but if you let me know below. Uh, also, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe and like. And don't forget to check out everybody else in the description. Their Twitters and YouTubes will be down below. And we'll see you in two weeks' time to review the Malaysian Grand Prix. So we'll see you then. Good night. <laughs>